Hey guys, so in this video I'm going to be talking about how I made my duvet cover for my college dorm. Now, I actually made the cover before I made the video, so you're not going to actually see me make the cover, I'm just going to be explaining how I did it and hopefully you guys will still get the gist of what I am talking about. This duvet cover is inspired by a cover that I saw online, so I'll make sure that I insert that picture and you guys can be the judge of whether or not it looks anything like it. Alright guys, so this is the bedding that I really like that I saw online, and here is the bedding that I made. So for starters, we're going to want to measure our duvet cover, both the width and the height so that we can go buy our fabric. Yes, you are going to have to do some math here and I am sorry, but I know that you guys can do that. It's not that hard. And then once you've bought your fabric, we are going to start by cutting our fabric. Now I used a rotary cutter to do this. I started with cutting the length and then I cut the width of each piece of fabric. And if you do not have a rotary cutter, then you can just use some regular scissors. That is fine as well. Now, the width of the strips doesn't matter as long as they're consistent. I use tons of different widths. And then once you've cut those strips, you're going to want to lay them out on top of your duvet cover just to make sure that the length is correct. And then we're going to organize our strips based off the order that we're going to want to sew them together just to kind of get the pattern down to see what we want to do. Once you've done that, you're going to want to pin everything. Pinning is so important because things slip and it just makes a mess. You're going to want to pin stuff. Once you've pinned and making sure that you've pinned with the good sides together, we're just going to take those strips to our sewing machine and we're going to sew and sew and sew and sew some more because this is a lot of sewing and it kind of sucks sometimes, but that's okay. So we're going to make two panels. This is the back panel and the only difference between the back and the front panel is that the back panel has an opening where we can insert our duvet into the cover and this is what the opening looks like just so you guys know for future reference. And here is the front panel. Now the front panel has the little designs on it and I really like these designs. I think that they add a lot to the cover. Now they're not perfect but I'm okay with that and they're just kind of like spirally hearts and I use some lace to do that. And I really like them. So when I made those I first started out by drawing out what I wanted and yes this is just me drawing really ugly. but. Uh, I just want to show you guys the process and, you know, just play with it, figure out what you want to do before you start on your cover because you might ruin it and that would suck. You're going to need some pins and thread and then here's the lace that I used for my cover. And then, of course, you're going to need some pins because pins are oh so important. Then you're going to lay out your lace and then pin it down. I didn't do this very pretty because I've already done mine. So just pin that down and then once you're done pinning, of course, we are going to take some needle and thread and sew that all up by hand. You can use a machine, but I think thread is way better. Okay, and so then from there, we're going to talk about this opening. Now, the opening that I did was about three feet from the top of the duvet cover, and I used buttons for mine. They look just like that, and of course, I lined them up really well, and you can also use some other things to close it, but I think buttons are definitely the best. You really, really, really need to make sure that you put them right next to each other and then mine are seven inches apart and I used eight buttons just so you guys know and then in a second I'm going to show you a close-up of the button snaps that I use that's what they look like and then when you fold it over you can't even see them alright so once you've made those two panels we're going to sew the bottom and then we're going to go up one side go up the other side and then sew across the top. That is the best way to sew these panels together. Once you've done that, you can just turn that inside out and start stuffing your cover with your duvet. And then this is a lot harder than you think though. <laughs> like it's not super easy to do. And then once you're done with that, you're going to just pin it across. I'm or button it across. I'm so sorry that this tutorial was so short, but next time I promise it won't be. I hope that tutorial was helpful for at least some of you guys and I would love to hear you guys comments on whether you think that my duvet cover looks anything like the picture that I inserted and yeah I hope you guys subscribe and just remember that Sarah loves you.